Anna Kendrick is one of those actresses who brings a charm to almost every role she plays, but for her directorial debut, Woman of the Hour, she chose to make a thriller reliant on building tension and manages to prove her skill behind the camera. Based on the true story of a serial killer who appeared on The Dating Game, the film uses an interesting narrative structure as it jumps between the stories of contestant Cheryl Bradshaw and Bachelor No. 3, Rani Alcala. The result ends up a film with quite a few suspenseful scenes and an examination of who to trust in this dark world of ours. A lot of the movie is told through a flashback structure as we see Alcala commit his crimes in between his dating game stint. Kendrick directs those scenes well and shows how Alcala coerced women with his supposed charm before eventually killing them. It's difficult for the average person to understand and get into the mindset of a serial killer as most people are not interested in murdering others. The film does not dig too deeply into his motives, but it should not have to. It just presents someone who got a thrill out of luring his victims into a false sense of security and making them trust him, and Daniel Zavato portrays that well through his performance. In between the murder scenes, Kendrick also handles the lighter, more comical scenes well, mostly involving Cheryl. She plays the role with the peppiness we're accustomed to seeing from her, but also someone tired of going to auditions that don't amount to anything. She also shares a few nice scenes with Pete Holmes as a supportive neighbor, along with being a delight in the dating game scenes. Kendrick and her production team do a good job of recreating a 70s television studio and depicting how the show is put together. Knowing what Akala is capable of also provides the needed tension. There's a particularly terrifying scene in a parking lot where one is not sure what direction it will go in, especially since it's a bit of a departure from real events. The film includes an audience member who recognizes Alcala, and she gets a few notable scenes, although she primarily exists to showcase how crimes can sometimes not be taken seriously until it's potentially too late. The main theme of Woman of the Hour is on the difficulty women face navigating the world and the uncertainty of which men are being genuine and which ones will hurt them. Woman of the Hour takes this true story and finds a solid angle with which to depict it. That's largely thanks to Anna Kendrick's direction as well as screenplay by Ian MacDonald. It gives a neat amount of time to his two central figures, although Rodney Alcala is given the most attention. Most importantly, Kendrick understands how to use the comedic elements of the script along with building the more dramatic moments where one is unsure when Alcala's darker side will come out. The idea of the serial killer appearing on this nationally televised game show is a scary one, and Woman of the Hour finds the right way to execute that fear.